you know, usually debating rules in, in a legislative body is like watching paint dry. But as we saw here in the House of Representatives last week, that debate on House rules told us a lot about what could be the tenor and tone of this new legislature. We have House Speaker Terry Norelli, who's been resurrected back as Speaker. She was Speaker for four years and was bounced by Speaker Bill O'Brien um, when the Republicans in that tsunami election in 2010 grabbed the supermajority. As you know now, the Democrats have a narrow majority. What did we see from that rules fight? We saw a conservative House Republican Alliance group that's having a hard time moving past the fact they're no longer in charge. And we also saw them testing House Speaker Terry Norelli. Um, how did they do that? Well, they would go to the well in speaking and would ask questions of the speaker. Now, any parliamentary expert will tell you asking questions of a presiding officer is taboo. It's an absolute no-no. You don't get to do that as a member of the legislature. You can make a parliamentary inquiry about a rule, a legislative rule or procedure, uh, and you can make any kind of motion you want to dispose of a bill. But why would they ask questions? Because they would t the test was, would she act as Bill O'Brien acted when Democrats would often ask questions of the Speaker? Bill O'Brien was very firm um, and would often rule them out of order. And what they were trying to do was to get Terry Norelli to be adversarial and, and be as autocratic, if you will, as Speaker O'Brien occasionally would be. But it was his right. Like I said, you're not supposed to ask questions. There's going to be this feeling out process, this picking and prodding of this new Speaker to see, uh, one, how much they can get away with and how much of a rise they can get out of her. And we'll follow that for you here at the National Telegraph.